Special, special beginning of look at her guest. We have Mr. Gergi. Shake it, move it, Gergi. Oh. 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 oh, if you want to see more of this, make sure you check out Gerg at OnlyFans.com slash Gerg is the word. You can see his penis, ass crack, balls, and all the rest, right? Love Gerg. Yes. All right, run away, little bunny. And don't forget, we have the lovely queen, Miss Jessica Lahore, visiting in town. She was Lady Red. Jessica tried, came to visit us in the studio, and she was picked up by several men in cars walking down the street looking like this. Oh, I'm shocked. <laughs> Give us a twirl, darling. Yes. yes. Uh, we love Jessica's look, so if you want to check her out on Instagram, Instagram, it's at the underscore la dot whore, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give it up for Jessica Lore. Yeah, welcome to the to look at her, the Hinkley and After Show. <laughs> where our celebrity guest looks at all the hoes that they've worked with and spills a little tea. Mm. Or if they have to, even throws a little. She. <laughs> or just tells us something we don't know. And we're with the beautiful Dinnerettes. We love it. Yay! Lady Rad, you're still here. You're still doing good. Looking golden and beautiful. Oh, you know, Sandro Pay keeps you busy. Very Sandro Pay. <laughs> Very Sandro <Saint> Pay. <laughs> That's the name of Lady Red's new sitcom. Very, Very Sandro Pay. <laughs> Fancy, darling. Fancy. <laughs> well, you know how to play this game, right? Yes, I do. We're going to look, and you're going to spill. Huh. Let us begin. Look at her. Ah, Shea Coulee, oh, another Chicago queen. Mm, yes. Uh, I've, I've known Shay for a really long time. She actually, it's really funny. Um, if you look at my Eagle Beyonce video, Shay is actually dancing in that. Really? If you really I, I'm shocked no one's clocked it. Interesting. <laughs> like, I'm shocked not no one's made a gif of her, because she's really fierce in that video. Yeah. Um, but, like, I, I'm shocked no one's made no gifs or nothing of her. She's, yeah, she's dancing in that Eagle video, if you go back and take a look at that. Um, I love Shay. Conceptually, as an artist, she is just... Um, I mean, black girl magic. I love it. You know, I love, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't mean to make this like a black or white thing, you know, but like, I just love what black queens have been doing lately. Like black, yeah. black queens, like we are just owning so much of our magic and our power. And we're not maybe going along the grain of wearing the wigs or wearing the looks like a lot of other girls do. We're just doing our own thing. We really are showing our culture. I mean, it's just like, and she does that so well. Like yeah. everything. I just love her fashion. I love discussing fashion with her. I always have. She has great style. Her makeup is on point. Like... I love I love Shay. Shay is absolutely amazing. So uh, what's one thing we wouldn't know about her? Oh, let me see. Like one thing that you feel like she hasn't shown her? Yeah, I mean, she's still a little bit mysterious. I mean, she she had a very carefully curated, she was uh, uh -huh. very well curated reactions and everything. Even her even her moments of of like you know lashing out were you know very quotable and well done. So is there anything we that, any you know behind the scenes and something we might not know about her? Um, I would probably say the one behind the scenes about thing about Shay and I like this a lot about her is that she is with even all of that of how like she's very perfection. Mm -hmm. She's super professional. Like sometimes when you meet people like that are really perfection from head to toe, they're not professional. Right. And she's really professional. She is the type of girl that, you know, she'll kiki -key with everyone in the dressing room. You know, she doesn't think because, oh, I've been on Drag Race, like I need to be in a different dressing room than these girls who ain't been on Drag <laughs> yeah. Race. You know, like she really is just, like she likes being around, she's a girl's girl, you know? And I think that's what you kind of need to be when you are in our footsteps as like a Drag Race girl. Cause you know, you're around other queens and. Some are intimidated, some are really like, you know, they want to learn, they want to like get your, they want to pick your brain and mm -hmm. you can pick, she she allows anyone to pick her brain. That's so good. If you ever like really want to learn or you really want to know or like, how did you find your look or go up and ask her. She's very approachable. She's super approachable. Love it. Look at her. Oh, <laughs> Fifi O'Hara. Now, when did you first meet her? Um, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's really hard because I'm like trying to keep my cool because I saw her interview that she did here with uh -huh. about to look at her yeah. and the things that she said about me. Uh, what did she say? Because well, I do I not rather, remember. I'd rather not go. 
Okay, thank you, Lady Red. Well, um, wait, Lady Red, what? I just said, she said a lot of stuff. She said a lot of very, like, hurtful, mean things about me, and I think also things that weren't true. Um, well, I mean, clear, kind of you, might, me, you should clear them up, make, because you know, honestly, I don't me, remember everything that happened on this show. Making me seem like I'm this disgusting queen. She was talking about, like, Popeye's chicken boxes and things like that. Oh, I think, right, she said something about you were messy, or? Yeah, and I, 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 I don't want to go into full detail about things, because the thing that I find so interesting with her is that, because she seems to argue a lot with people, and the one thing I find really funny is like when she argues with people, she always says things like, um, I have so much on that person. I've always heard her say this when she talks to me about someone she has an argument with. You know, mm. I have so much on that person. They don't want me to go there on them. They don't want... And I thought it was really interesting when she sat here and said these things about me. She knows that I know a lot of personal things about her that she's not divulged to the public. Mm. Things that she knows that I don't even, like things that I know that she knows that I don't even know, but I know. And I just think that it's interesting that she came on here and said these things about me because she knows I'm not going to be that person. I'm not going to be messy like that. Mm. Um, so I guess when you ask me to say look at her, I really can't look at her. So, next. <laughs> All right. Sometimes not looking is saying a lot. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> Ah, the beauty Ooh, and the, the queen, grace. Darling. My queen, I love her. Oh, I love her. She's so glamorous. Now, when was the first time you discovered her? I'm um, like, I literally, like, with Marilyn Manson. Like, yeah. I, like I, I think I saw her, like, on... Oh, you know what it really what it was? It was Top Model. She was a oh. Top Model. She did this whole thing uh, in a martini glass. And yeah. I just thought she was just so, like... I was like, who is this beautiful creature? <laughs> yeah. And I, you know, the internet was around, but it, you know, it wasn't like a zoom in, boom in kind of situation, you know? But I, I, I looked her up and I just found as much footage as I can at the time and just really like, I was like, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. And then I found out she's from Michigan and I was like, oh my God, like she's from Michigan like me, I can be famous too, like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I love her. She has such, she just, her presence on stage is just like, the way she hops in a martini, I ain't seen nobody do that that fierce. No, honey, okay. nobody can do it like that. And the Dita. way she just takes off her clothes. Yes. And just, I mean, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I love to watch, inter like, that's like something I love to do. I love to, like, watch entertainers like her. Um, Sid Charisse is another big entertainer I love to watch. Yes, Sid, Sid Charisse, honey, like, pulling out the old yes, school stars. Yes, honey, bandwagon with her and yes. love, uh, Frank Sinatra and Fred Astaire and all those other <laughs> fabulous people. She, like, I just, I enjoy watching entertainment like that and people who really are passionate about their stage because I feel like sometimes people aren't really as serious on stage and you have to be you have to take it seriously because if you want to be taken seriously as an artist mm -hmm. you have to like that's the one moment you do be, you are serious now every other time off stage just you don't take yourself too seriously have yeah. fun but when you're on stage allow yourself to really go into that trance and really be the artist in the show and I love that about her yeah, that's I fun. love that about her. She mm -hmm. just transforms immediately. I love that you said Sid Charisse. Oh, mm -hmm. I love Sid Charisse. She's one of my favorites. Um, my favorite thing with Sid Charisse, I mean, other than her classic entertainment, was with her last appearance in that Janet Jackson <sighs> All Right video. Yes, yes, yes. I remember yes. watching it, and she came out and just did like a little thing where she did a movement, and I said, well, she didn't really dance a lot like Janet, and my grandmother said, um, she invented those moves. Baby, <laughs> I'm telling y'all right now, if you don't know Sis Charisse, yes, go check her out. Sis yes. Charisse, it was no joke. She really did Ooh, it. She mm. would get out there and dance. And I mean, I did one of my favorite um, image, like videos to watch of her is um, from Party Girl. Uh -huh. When she's dancing with the pink and the two guys in the trumpet. And look it up on YouTube. Yes. Like, it's one of my favorite numbers to watch. It's a dream number I really want to do. It's... It's, I know I love her. I love her a lot. My friend Patrick introduced me to her. He was like, you remind me a lot of Sid Charisse. And I was like, who, the, who is that? And then I started watching one video and I just could not stop. Yeah. I like, and I still do. I love watching her all the time. Amazing. Well, as far as Dita goes, if we, when we come to Chicago for Art of the Tees, yes. we'll make sure you get tickets and oh, come uh, yes, and get yes, to meet yes, her honey, and get I, all her ass. Definitely, after. definitely. <laughs> all right. Look at her. Oh. Tranagorex. <laughs> Oh, Tranica. Yeah, I work with her in Chicago. Yeah. she Tranica, I'm so proud of her. I've known Tranica when she first started, and she is just, like, she's creating this, like, endless, like, empire for herself. I mean, she is just so great, and she's, once again, another girl who is grinding her ass off and really working hard and really at the top, but, like, she's willing to learn. You know, she'll come to me sometimes and ask me, like, will we, you know, I want to book this entertainer. Have you worked with them? Or do you, who do you think I should add? Or, you know, mm. and, you know, she, I really like Tranica a lot. And really when I was going through kind of, like, my break, 
she was really, really a great person to just, you know, constantly checking in on me. Anytime oh. I have really crazy moments happen, she always calls or texts, are you okay? Hey, I heard this happen, are you okay? She, and, and the funny, she has kind of the reputation amongst people for being kind of a, a hard ass also too. <laughs> right. she, she would kill me if I say this, she's really a sweet person. <laughs> she's so sweet, so sweet. And I she's managed to like really that. carve a niche, again, not on Drag Race, but someone that all drag fans know and exactly. made a big name for itself. Exactly, well, you know, and it's crazy because this is how small the world is. Her and Trixie were friends before Trixie got on the show. Oh, that's, yeah. just how, that's just how small the world is right there. Her and Trixie knew each other and they're still great friends, but yeah. uh, that's just how small the, the community is. Right I there. mean, Chicago's been churning out some some the hits on yeah. Drag Race, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we are like, it's kind of crazy. We are, it, it, we are like doing that. And yeah. I'm very proud of, I'm very proud of all of us that have gone on there and represented really well and done a great job. It's great. It's great. Look at her. Oh, Natalie baby. Cole, yes, yes. what a dream. You oh. had the handkerchief waving, yes. the smile. She was there, and I, st I still don't believe it sometimes. Like, that the, the legend, I was in the presence of the legendary, like, Natalie Cole. I was one degree away from Nat King Cole. I was, <laughs> you know, like, and just, you think about all those things. Like, whenever I see, like, celebrities like that, even, like, Rue, I just think about, like, where you been, things I've seen you on. You know, like when I'm in concert, you know, you've seen Beyonce or Rihanna or somebody in concert, you like, you think about all the magazine covers, you think about all the videos, you think about all the looks, the images, the content that they've built, and you're just like, that individual is right in front of me. I think that's why people like Gaga so much, you know, yeah. because Gaga has created so much content about herself and such an entity, but when you see her just in like, cut off jeans and a t-shirt, it makes you love her more. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw, I, I, sitting there just looking at Natalie Cole, I was like, oh my God, like that's Natalie Cole, like that's, that's, that's Natalie Cole, like, <laughs> yeah. oh my God. You know, um, you know, she was really, really nice. And um, she, that was a harsh, that was a hard critique for me to handle, but she was even during the critiques very nice. Mm -hmm. And you know, she, I remember saying something like, she liked my energy and she really liked my energy and she loved my legs. <laughs> yeah. And um, no, she was really sweet. She was, she was very much a diva. I remember them walking her to her, her, her seat and they were holding her gown and she was just walking <laughs> and doing that. And I was like, oh, you diva, I love it. I love it, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and did you ever get to chat with her at, at the end? I did it. I never got a chance. Away. Yeah, they swept her away. I never got a chance to meet her, but I felt like I had that connection when that lip sync happened. Yeah. I, you know, you see that, that part where I blow a heart and that was very much to her. And, yeah. You know, because I know she knows Queens love her and I know she knows that, you know, she knows that we, we perform her music, so mm -hmm. it was just cool to even just have her there. You know, it I, I would have reacted the same way if like Diana Ross or Aretha Franklin. Oh I mean, yeah, like, iconic. Like and Natalie Cole was just iconic. So for sure, and you were lucky to get have that moment with her before oh, we all lost I her. I loved it. I loved it. God bless. I, actually, it was crazy when she passed away. I felt like people were contacting me, like, "Are you okay?" Right. <laughs> and I was a little sad. I was like, "Oh my god!" Like. Dang. Like, I know. Oh, I, I shared that moment with her. Like, so. and then you were lucky to have that. It was a beautiful moment that lives on forever. Forever. On the I'm, internet, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Look at home. Ah! I got scared. <laughs> That's a great That's, picture. This of her. is Sarah's new, uh, like, metal wig. She's uh, been like battle axe era. She's been like a. She's like transformed. I saw her last yeah. year at DragCon, and I love Sharon. Sharon mm -hmm. and I on our season, we got along so well and I think we loved the fact that we were like different types of queens and we meshed really well. Um, I, she's really smart. I don't think a lot of people really realize she's that She's really her. smart, yeah. She's super smart and she's really like, she knows a lot of pop culture and she's really educated on pop culture. Like she can tell you more than just like, you know, who J-Lo's first husband was. Like she can actually <laughs> tell you all of like J Lo's lineup and what the rings look like and what that you know like she's just really smart and like I love when people in the past I've watched people try to come for her and she's she shuts it down like she yes. just shut like like no like somebody tries to come for her she's like girl don't even try me like <laughs> I know who I am yeah that's what I love about her so no I love Sharon I love all of the she's gotten more glammier. yeah she's she's, she cool. has been giving you more of a glam look but she's having the silver hair and the cheekbones and the, I don't know, I know she got some stuff done too, but you know. Yes, she did. She loves plastic surgery, that's what I've heard, and she said before to me, you know, I love plastic surgery. You know? <laughs> so. Now, what was something, like, when you first met her on set, what was your first impression? Because that was kind of a different drag aesthetic than you were really probably used to, and did you, what did you think? Did you think she was gonna win? I did because she was interesting and I knew that the judges really liked her and she mm. was fearless to everything. She was, she was something I had never seen. I had seen girls do that type of drag, but I'd never seen somebody as smart as her. 
that was what shocked me. Yeah. And then also, like, I wanted to get to know her because I felt like prior to coming into the drag, I didn't hang around girls like her. Like, prior to coming in drag race, I hung around kind of the same type of girls. Mm -hmm. I just hung around kind of like those same, like, you know, black, pretty queens, you know? Yeah. And I think that doing drag race kind of helped teach me to be able to hang around all different types of drag and really respect all different types of drag. So when she walked in, my first initial thought was, is she part of the competition? Has the competition started? Like, is right. she here to tell us our challenge? <laughs> right. And then when she started introducing herself, and, and you know, like I said, the, the community's small. I had heard of Sharon Needles. So I was like, oh, this must be that girl. Because I, like, I knew Willem, I knew Chad, I knew mm. Milan, I knew Latrice. Like, I knew all these other performers just, like, throughout the scene. So I was like, oh, I've heard of her. I was like, she must really be on the show. And then throughout the time of just realizing and just seeing how she reacted and how she would interact with the judges, I was like, she gonna win. She's gonna mm -hmm. win. I was like, she's gonna win. She's just, she's just too, she's good. She's good. And like, anybody who can make RuPaul really chuckle, yeah. you know, RuPaul is like tucked and plucked behind that desk. Yeah. So he's like, he can't really do much. But anytime anyone can really make him have a hard cackle, you can see it. Yeah. And I just saw it every time with when she would open her mouth and say something to him. He would just, just, you know, that laugh. He yeah, had. yeah. And it would just start going, and I'd be like, oh, Sharon's gonna. <laughs> I for a top three, top five spot, girl, because she, because Sharon got this. I already can see it. So, but she yep. played a very good game. I was very proud of Sharon. Yes, she I did. Really was. All right, well, we're going to have more looks and more hers right after this. Look, look at ha! For part two of Look at Ha, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at Ha, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe. <laughs>